Shalom. I'd like to say all praises unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. My name is Karnawak, doing a lesson here uh, in regards to this article that I saw, <clears throat> as well as a video I saw on the Young Turks, Trump Chief of Staff, White House is Miserable Place. Um, says, the White House is a miser miserable place to work. I watched that video at first, and I, I, I came across this article just now. How, how did it come to this? A look at the events leading up to Canada versus U.S. battle. So right now, this is Esau going against one another, you know, the U.S. and Canada in a trade war, you know. So right now, uh, like, you know, like, this is very, uh, uh, like, this is a very funny thing, you know. This is a very funny thing, man, and it's only going to get worse because these are two um, countries, you know, that are supposed to be basically brothers, you know, sincere Edomite brothers. And this is just Esau just losing power because they're uh, going against their own allies. So and this happened during, during Rome, you know, with the Roman Empire, different Roman states, uh basically in conflict you know with rome you know and america represents rome so to speak so you know this is a serious thing man you know and this just shows you that they're they know that their kingdom's fallen man you look at this man they say a picture speaks a thousand words man donald trump looks like he wants to punch uh justin trudeau in the face man he didn't even want to shake his hand he reached out his hand to shake, and um, I don't even think he shook his hand, you know. Or if he did, it was uh, the fakest handshake ever, you know. And the scripture says that uh, Satan cannot fight against uh, Satan, man. How shall his kingdom stand? Let me get that, you know. So this is a serious time, and, you know, that shows you that these Edomites are going to lose their power soon, man. Very soon. This is Matthew 12, uh, verse 26. It says, And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? You know, which that scripture was even, um, you know, wasn't even really talking about um, this, you know, in this context. But, you know, it goes twofold. You know, because uh, who's the who's the who's the spiritual children of Satan right now? You know, Esau. You know, so right now they're uh, fighting against one another. You know, breaking treaties and alliances. You know, so um, you know it applies to what's going on, man, and that and that's what's going on, man. Satan against Satan. You know. Two, uh, two devils against each other, man. And they're uh, losing their power, man. And they're about to go to, you know, uh, basically um, the scripture and revelation. And, um, basically says that the, uh, hold on. Says that the nation shall hate the whore. You know, which represents America, man. And that's what, you know, that this is the time that we're coming to pass, man. They are all sl all sl like this is the time that we're living in, man. You know, where, where this prophecy shall come to pass, man. And how are they going to hate the horn, man? That they're all going to rise up against America, man. And, uh, you know, shoot their missiles, man. It says, um, Revelation 17 and, um, 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. All right, the ten horn, they, um, you know, like those represents uh, certain uh, European Union countries, you know, that's a part of the European Union. And then B, the beast represents uh, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which uh, Canada is a part of, America, you know, so like this is prophecy coming to pass, man. Right? These shall hate the whore. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. And, and, and NATO is the military might of the European Union, man. So 
that's prophecy right there, man, coming to pass. So with all these tensions and stuff, America is America is gonna have their own allies turn against them, man. You know, um, they already have the Russians as an enemy. So America, you know, America is gonna be uh, basically uh, naked, man. You know, <laughs> because they're not gonna have no one to back them, and ultimately, that's the whole plan of the Lord, man. To isolate America, man, and, and, and make it a desolation, man. You know, you uh, you could read this article for yourself. You know, I'm going to read some certain things, you know, skim through uh, certain things, and then you could read the rest. U.S. President, fair deal or no deal, nor no deal. U.S. President Donald Trump, after announcing the tariff, sent a message to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau about NAFTA talks on May 31st. This is basically a timeline, you know, leading to the buildup. You know, because Trump's he's been going on a Twitter rant and all these stuff, man. Earlier today, this message was conveyed to, to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada. The United States will agree to a fair deal, or there will be no deal at all. Totally unacceptable. May thirty first, twenty eighteen. Justin Trudeau fires back over the terrorists. Being applied on the premise, Canada poses a national security threat to the U.S. So basically, you know, this is a war, man. This is a trade. This is a. This is gonna lead to all kinds of things, man. This is a trade war that's go that could lead to all kinds of things, man. Now let's be clear: these tariffs are totally unacceptable. That Canada could be considered a na national security threat to the United States is inconceivable. Highly restrictive on trade, Donald Trump sends the first of several Twitter salvos against what he says are Canada's unfair trade policies. Canada has treated our agricultural business and farmers very poorly for a long period of time. Highly restricted on trade, they must open their markets and take down their trade barriers. They report a really high surplus on trade with us. Do timber and lumber, do timber and lumber in U in U.S. You know, so this is basically Trump. He ultimately wants the U.S. government or corporation to have control, way more control, on uh, the Canadian soil, man. You know, because they have um a lot of influence on Canada, but they want total power, man. And also, do you know that like, this is a this is a serious war, man. This is a war between governments, a trade war, as what you people call it. This is uh, Justin Trudeau's uh, fire back, insulting and unacceptable. Justin Trudeau on NBC's Meet the Press uses stronger words to characterize Trump's tariffs. The idea that Canadian steel. That's in military vehicles in the United States that makes your fighter jets. It's some now is somehow now a threat. The idea that we are somehow a national security threat to the United States is quite frankly insulting and unacceptable. You know, so this is serious, man. So this whole thing that um, Esau is planning, man, for his new world order and all these stuff, man. You know, there's a lot of things happening where it's not the uh, it's not working out in their favor, man. You know where they're they're fighting for their own uh, for power amongst each other, man. You know, so um, that's the heavenly Father causing uh, he's causing you guys to uh, basically have confusion. He's basically putting a uh, a monkey wrench in your plans, man. You know. Yeah, the Mosai, he's not making things work in your favor, man. You know? Because scripture says, um, basically, the trap what the enemy has set, let him fall in, fall therein. I'm trying to find it. I, I just saw... Uh, that's just... Uh, that, you know, I'm not quite too sure how the scripture goes, but basically says... Uh, Whoso basically set up a trap, let them fall therein. Or whoso dig of a pit, let them fall in the pit, so to speak. Um, it's in Psalms, I know. 
Trying to see if I could find it. So Psalm 7 and 15. And then check out this. Most I ain't playing, man. a serious time that we're in there. Psalms, um, Psalm 7 verse 15 I started at um, Psalm 7 and 11 God judges the righteous and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day who's the wicked man that's the so called white man as well as these other nations man you know this scripture is a serious scripture, man. You know, Psalm 7 and 10. It says, uh, God judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. You know? So that's why. You know, and like, why is he angry with the wicked? Because he's oppressing Esau. is doing all kinds of stuff on this earth, man. Splicing seeds. You know, um... They're creating all kind of mutations of animals, you know, of mankind, you know, um, doing all kinds of things, man, you know, uh, raising hell on our people every single day, man, for the, for almost, uh, 500 years, you know, so the heavenly father is pissed off, man, it says if he turn not, he will wet his sword, he hath bent his bow and made it ready. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against a persecutor. What's the arrows, man? The nuclear missiles, man. You know? And ultimately, it's going to destroy all you Edomites, man. And destroy America totally. And you guys are going to go in slavery, man. And be joined one to another in slavery, man. Like how you guys are all disunited now and fighting for power. You guys are going to be united in slavery, man. It says, uh, Behold, he travailed with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. So the whole, uh, the whole new order, or the, uh, the whole new order, what you guys have um, in uh, Georgia, with the Georgia Guidestones, basically the Tenth Commandments as to how you're going to, the Tenth Commandments of you are Illuminati, basically, as to how you're going to take over the earth. You know, and it's in different languages as well, you know, as to how you and the other nations are going to basically take over the earth and be the new, uh, the new gods or superpowers, you know, that's the plan. But right now, all these things ain't working in your favor, man, you know, where you want to reduce the earth population down to uh, 500 million, you know, right now the population of the earth is, is uh, over 8 billion, you know. So the Mosai is gonna uh he threw he's throwing a mo big monkey wrench in your plan, man, and he's gonna cut your rulership shorter, man. You know. So with that, I'd like to say all praises unto Yahweh Bashim Rashai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the brothers out there doing the works in truth and sincerity, uploading videos day and night. You know. So I'd like to say Shalom and Kwan Rash Allah, death to America as well as these other nations. You know and. You know, Kwame Asher Allah.